the holy gospel according to saint john at that time there was a marriage in cana of galilee and the mother of jesus was there and jesus also was invited and his disciples to the marriage and the wine failing the mother of jesus said to him they have no wine and jesus said to her woman what is it to me and to thee my hour is not yet come his mother said to the waiters whatsoever he he shall say to you do ye now there were six set three six water pots of stone according to the manner of the purifying of the Jews containing two or three measures of peace Jesus said to them fill the water pots with water and they filled them up to the brim and Jesus said to them draw out now and carry it to the chief steward of the feast and they carried it and when the chief steward had tasted the water made wine and knew not whence it was but the waiters knew who who had drawn the water the chief steward called the bridegroom and said to him every man at first setteth forth good wine and when men have well drunk they that which is then that which is worse but thou hast kept the good wine until now this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and he manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him the second sunday after after a pepen there was a marriage in cana of galilee and the mother of jesus was there In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. My dear brethren in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, the most blessed virgin has been pictured for us among the guests at the Jewish wedding. When the wine was found insufficient, A lady felt compassion for the embarrassment of the young couple and her sympathy led her to remark quietly to Jesus her son they have no wine Jesus understood what was meant by these words they have no wine and he although he is our for a public miracle had not yet come decided to make use of this divine of his divine power to comply with the request of his holy mother and knowing the mind of jesus his blessed mother says to the waiters what to so ever he shall say to you do ye what so ever he shall say to you do ye jesus told them to fill the water pots with water they prepared six pots and filled them to the brim with water jesus drew near and quietly without any word or gesture changed the water into wine and thus manifested his glory by his first miracle yes my dear brethren the catholic liturgy recognizes in this miracle a figure a figure of our lady's powerful intercession and the wonderful transubstantiation during the holy mass 
which occurs every day in our churches. The bread and wine are changed into the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And we are nourished with this supernatural wine when grace is found insufficient in us. This is the meaning in short of this gesture of our Lord in this miracle, the Holy Eucharist. The Holy Eucharist is the great manifestation of the inter inter eternal incarnate wisdom which Catholic Christians witness as the first and the greatest miracle in his union, union with our true, the wedding feast in the mystical body of Jesus Christ, the Holy Catholic Church. The mystical wedding is the manifestation of his glory and power. Now here we see Our Lady's powerful intercession. Let us contemplate in this great miracle the essential connection between Our Lady's powerful intercession and the wonderful works of God through Jesus Christ. God gave many precious gifts to His chosen people. In the Old Testament. But this, his most precious gift, he preserved until his holy mother felt compassion over the young couple and said, Whatsoever he shall say to you. What does the mean what does the mean what is the meaning of these words? Whatsoever he shall say to you. We can say fiat vobis secundum verbum eius. Let it be done to you according to his will and pleasure. That is the meaning of the words of our lady. Let it be done to you according to his will, will and wisdom and word. This first miracle according to the order of nature reflects the same compassion of the Blessed Virgin Mary over humanity by which a divine love led her to pronounce the ineffable fiat, <coughs> fiat miki secundum verbum tu. Here it means, let it be done to me according to thy word. The words pronounced by Our Lady at the time of Annunciation is exactly the same as the words she pronounced during this first miracle of Jesus. Yes, let it be done to you according to His will, according to His word. The same thing He said during the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel came and greeted Our Lady, Hail Mary, full of grace. Our Lady pronounced the same sentence, Let it be done to me according to thy word. Yes, my dear brethren, this fiat was so essential for the hypostatic union of the divinity and humanity of God made man in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That without her fiat, there is no incarnation possible. <coughs> Thus the first miracle at Cana, according to the order of nature, <coughs> water becoming wine, reflects the first great miracle of incarnation according to the grace, order of grace. God becoming man. 
water becoming wine and God becoming man. Do you see the relation between Divine Mary's consent or intercession? Consent or intercession? And the miracle of incarnation at Annunciation and the miracle at the marriage of Cana of Galilee. There is a relation. Our Lady's consent and intercession are reflected in these two miracles. Our Lady and the wonderful transubstantiation. Thou hast kept the, the good wine until now, the man said. Thou hast kept the good wine until now. What does it mean? The words of the, these words of the steward means that the good wine which was being so is saved or kept until now is the Holy Eucharist. Both in the Old Testament and in the beginning of the New Testament, God has made so many miracles. But this miracle was done only now. Why? This good wine, water changed into wine, signifying the Holy Eucharist. Bread and wine changed into body and blood of Jesus. Was not served for <coughs> those who sat for the marriage banquet before the intervention of the yeah. Blessed Virgin Mary. Yes. Ordinary wine was served for those people who sat for the banquet before Our Lady came into the scene. Before the intervention of the Holy Mary, Mother of God, as the people of the Old Testament, they did eat manna and they died. He that eateth this bread shall live forever, O Lord says. Those who ate manna died, those who eat the Holy Eucharist. The bread and wine change into the body of Jesus Christ. They will live forever. And this good wine, the Holy Communion, is not served to those who willfully despise the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Who are they? The Protestants. They willingly despise the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary with God. They do not want any relationship with the Blessed Virgin Mary. Why? Because of the enmity between this woman and Lucifer. Lucifer induces the Protestants not to recognize the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary with God. They are not able to address her. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Yes. Ask any of the Protestants or the Pentecosts, these people do not want to recite the Hail Mary. They cannot bear hearing the word of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. They cannot bear it. For example, I can say an incident happened in Canada. When I was there for three years, one man came and knocked the door. I opened the door 
and he set his foot inside the door and began to speak so that I may not be able to close the door and began to speak at random about Jesus Christ as he liked and he wanted to hear him and also pray with him. I said, yes, I like to pray and pray with you. One prayer. Please come in. And he came in. They asked him to kneel down with me. And he knelt down before the picture of the Blessed Virgin Mary. He could not look at the picture. He was bowing his head down and he was ready to pray with me. I said, I am going to leave the prayer and you must pray with me. Okay, he said, yes. I took the rosary in my hand and began to recite Hail Mary. Immediately that fellow got up and ran away. We cannot easily make these people go out. They will continue and continue to speak. But the words of Hail Mary made that devil go out immediately. This really happened, uh, an incident happened to me. But this is the way you have to change those people, the Pentecostals. They come in and begin to talk. You say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Immediately the fellow will go. Otherwise it is impossible to change these people. Once you, a Pentecostal man was talking to a young girl inside the house. She asked him to go. Please go. He would not go. For 15 minutes he was continually talking. He would not go. The girl was the daughter of a big army chief. There was inside the house a big rifle filled with guns. She could not bear her anger, went out and took the gun and uh, threatened him. <coughs> The fellow went away, but immediately brought the police into the house and filed a case against the girl. And she was almost imprisoned before her father came and uh, finished the matter. The gun has no power, <coughs> but the words of Hail Mary has all power. This is the power of Our Lady. The powerful intercessions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Yes. Now after Vatican II, we see also inside the Catholic Church the same spirit of the Protestants. And the lack of faith in the miracle of transubstantiation. The Second Vatican Council teaches a different doctrine. Instead of explaining the word transubstantiation, where the real miracle of body and blood of Jesus Christ taking place, they do not believe. The Second Vatican Council join in hands with the Protestants has now changed the doctrine differently, calling it not transubstantiation <coughs> but transfinalization. They do not know what do they say in this word. But in the word transubstantiation we know Bread and wine substantially is changed into the body and blood of Jesus Christ. The Protestants do not believe it. Therefore, in order to achieve the goal of ecumenism, 
Second Vatican Council also now has changed the meaning of transubstantiation. They do not know what happens during Mass now. Whether there is real transubstantiation or not, they do not know. Many do not want to accept it, even Catholic priests, after Second Vatican Council. Therefore, my dear brethren, let us pray to Our Lady that she may intercede for them, that they may bring forth the great miracle of conversion of the modernist Novus Ordo world to the real belief in the great miracle of the transubstantiation of bread and wine changing into the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Our Lady's sacramental presence also is in our life realized as mediatrix of all graces. God's grace was brought into that wedding feast to effect a miracle because Our Lady was mediatrix of God's grace. And the Mother of God, of Jesus, Mother of Jesus was there. Therefore the miracle happened. The Mother of Jesus was there in that wedding feast. As without her fiat, there was no incarnation possible. Life of grace in our families also is impossible without the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Of course, all Catholics know this to be true. But now, how true it is, perhaps, we do not sufficiently consider this fact. Let us then distinctly bring before our minds the care with which the Blessed Virgin had been created and adorned by God as made worthy of the high dignity to be imposed upon her as the mother of all mankind. This is revealed in the Gospel. Yes, when our Lord was hanging on the cross, he revealed this truth by the words, Behold thy son, behold thy mother. And as the disciple immediately take her into his house, let us also take her to our own house, as St. John did. Not only at the sacramental celebration of the matrimony, but in all the seven sacraments of the Catholic Church, our Blessed Mother is present there to distribute God's graces of that sacrament through her maternal hands. God wants all His graces to be supplied by His own Mother's maternal hand to all mankind. That is the mediation of the Mary, based on his intimate union and the consent to the passion and death of Jesus Christ. Of course, grace is being merited by the passion and death of Christ. But in that action, of redemption, hanging on the cross, meriting the grace, has been realized by Our Lady's mediation, by her intimate union and consent to the passion and death of Jesus Christ. As she gave, gave consent for the incarnation, she now gives, uh, uh, gives her public consent at the foot of the altar for the 
salvation of mankind through the passion and death of Jesus Christ. We have to contemplate this mystery more and more to have real love towards the Blessed was my Virgin Mary and honor God having the high dignity of meriting together with Jesus Christ salvation for mankind. We find in scripture that Jesus comes to the world through the Blessed Virgin Mary, literally. St. Elizabeth and her baby, St. John Baptist, were filled with the Holy Ghost when St. Elizabeth hears the voice of Mary. Yes. Jesus works his first miracle at Cana at the words of the Blessed Virgin Mary by her request. Mary is present also at Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost is poured out upon the Apostles, just as her voice was the instrument that carried grace to Saint Elizabeth and to her son, so Mary is the personal instrument by which graces flow to us from Christ. And therefore, St. Bernard says, Our Lady is the aqueduct of God's graces. Our Lady is the aqueduct. And that is necessary. Yes. It is not only necessary for her to have the waters gathered in a dam, but these waters must reach each and every individual by an aqueduct. That is the Blessed Virgin Mary, intimately united with the plan of God. Therefore, let us appreciate the powerful intercession and uh, cooperation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to bring down God's graces to every individual according to their need, according to their need. Yes, my dear brethren, let us pray that we may have or strengthen our faith in the powerful mediation of Our Lady for all the graces necessary for mankind. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.